pastor and author Penny Maxwell is our next guest. And in her new book, Setting Broken Bones, she recounts her traumatic childhood marked by poverty and unimaginable abuse. And she does that in order to help guide others who are searching for healing and freedom. Penny, welcome to Hope Today. Hey, it's so good to be with you. And you can call me Penny Marshall. She just has a few million more than I do. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah, I, I, you know, sooner or later, you're gonna say something wrong on TV. I, I know that time. for sure. But let me, let me ask you, Penny, um, the book is subtitled, Let God Heal What Hurt You. Now, like we were just talking about, about our own hurts and broken bones, sometimes things are like they're healed, but not healed quite right. Could you speak to that? Yeah, I had a friend who had a skiing accident and she actually broke her nose and just through the process of time, just kind of got back to life. And, but she struggled, she struggled to breathe at night. Uh, her sleep was constantly interrupted. And although it wasn't this huge major thing that you would look at and say, she just looks a hot mess, you know, her nose was a bit crooked. and. My challenge to her was, why Why don't you get that fixed? And she's like, because this happened by accident. And for me to go in and have it broken the second time, that would not be an accident. I am, there's pain that I would anticipate, so I don't wanna do it. I'd rather just let it stay the way it is. And my, my challenge was, you'd rather not be able to breathe at night. You'd rather have your sleep interrupted and you, you look in the mirror and you're uncomfortable because you'd rather avoid the pain than looking at you know, this in the face and saying, I'm gonna heal through this, even though there's a season where it might hurt. And I think a lot of us do that emotionally and mentally. And that was kind of the premise of the book is, you know, let God re-break you. Right, and I, I know you share so much of your story in the book, and I, I really identified with much of what you shared and, and, and how you shared it. Could you just tell us a little bit about your story? Yeah, so after, after just really uh, walking through that with a friend, it just reminded me of, I was having dinner with a good friend of ours. Um, he's a professional athlete, Daryl Strawberry which I'm sure, you know, a lot of people know, especially, especially up in the area where, where you guys are. And here, here he is, this guy, and we were having dinner one night um, with our spouses. And, and I said, D, man, why, why are people not healing from all the stuff that they've walked through? Like why you and I came through? I mean, I had a childhood um, marked with sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. I had a narcissistic mother, which... Um, I think actually was more painful than being sexually abused during my whole childhood by my grandfather because that was something, like I knew what was going to happen when my grandfather was around, but my mom, it was Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And so that type of confusion and mental torture was hard. And Daryl just said, hey, hey, the reason most people aren't healing is they, they aren't willing to go through the pain. He said, I had to go through immense pain to get my healing. And I had to say, you know what, I did too. And I don't think everybody's willing to go through the pain that it takes to really come through on the other side when God has to come in and literally break you. Most people go, I'd rather just limp through life. I, I'm not gonna sign up for that. 